October the 20th. So I've been up since 1.30 this morning. <clears throat> Yay. And uh, I guess I came down here about two or so. I don't remember. Did a little bit of some touch-up sanding what I could because uh, things are still not getting dry enough. But we're almost there. We're almost there. So one thing that you want to do, here's a tip, a, a little tip, that's what she said, or is that what you said? So here's a tip, once you've sanded your walls down, ceilings, walls, whatever it is you're doing, you have to wipe them off. A good way to do that is with a big swiffer, pay no attention to that, a uh, swiffer, yeah. Um, you know, these have a pad on them or a, a towel or whatever it is that you attach to these. <clears throat> uh, we have a specific thing that goes on here. So you take it and you just wipe them down with these, and it uh, gets off a lot of the sheet like this. So just a nice little tip. Uh, I've already went around and done it, but I do have to do a little bit more sanding, just a little spot here, a little spot there. There's a spot, there's a spot, and there's a spot, spot. Anyway, but we're going to be painting today, and let's take a look. Are you going to sit there? Sit. Don't move. Just a minute, guys. <clears throat> so, uh, if you looked at my video yesterday, you know that I picked out the colors to my room. I'm going with a couple of different choices, guys. Uh, we have a kind of a bluish kind of color, and we have a carrot cake color. Now, I've already showed these yesterday. So, uh, I was deciding, I woke up like at 1.30 thinking of this. What am I doing? What, what am I going to do? Well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm painting my main wall, which is the wall that my desk is going to be on, this color, the bluish color. And I'm painting this back wall the carrot cake cover. And this wall behind me, the side wall, is going to be uh, basic white. Uh, the reason that I chose to do it that way instead of the other 10 different conglomerations is my desk is going to be over here in the corner. And I'm going to be looking at that wall 90% of the time. Well, this is a little bit more calming color than this. So, uh, having color is good, but also, you know, this might get me all crazy. I don't know if I want to be crazy or not. So, I'm going to paint my main wall this color, this back wall this color, and the side wall white. So, that's what I've chosen to do for now. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to sand a couple of these spots here and uh, get things ready to roll, literally, uh, some paint. So stick around, guys, and we're moving forward today. All right? Stick around. So let's get to paint, guys. You're going to notice I'm not using the primer. That's because I don't always use primer. Guys. 
So, uh, this is the first coat, guys. And uh, yeah, so I gotta go get a brush, a cut in brush, so I can cut around the ceiling and other stuff. So, yeah, I've only used like about half a can or a little bit more than a half a can uh, on my first bucket. I'm gonna use pretty much all of it and just get a good coat so it's nice and uh, well painted. And just to touch on uh, not using primer, uh, really my main reason for not using primer is because of the cost. Everything's just so expensive now that uh, I didn't want to spend the extra money on primer. I knew I was going to have to probably have two cans of paint anyway, so two cans of paint is more than enough to put on like, multiple coats. So might as well just go that route and uh, do it like that. And that's how I've done it for all the walls. I got two cans of white, two cans of the carrot cake. So we're gonna be good. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy, guys. So I gotta go buy a brush. So off to Lowe's, I goes. So we'll catch you in the next clip, guys. And uh, don't go anywhere. Or you can go somewhere, because this is gonna be a while. No, don't go anywhere, because this is gonna... Yeah, don't go anywhere. All right, guys, and just like that, we have two coats of paint on. We have a couple of coats of the cut-in, and the cut-in doesn't have to be absolutely perfect up there because I'm going to have trim going around the top, and also, of course, the bottom, we're gonna have baseboard. So, and against the door, I'm gonna have some trim. Uh, on the other side of this, I do have to still do, you'll see the white on the other side, uh, but I'm kind of letting that uh, finished dry and it wouldn't completely dry the mud so uh, of course that's still got some uh, wetness to it so it looks a little uh, awkward in the video but believe me it's covered good I looked over it real good with a light and it all looks good so pretty good stuff now we're fixing to start on the back wall and that's the one we're gonna do carrot cake color guys carrot Cake. Carrot cake color. This one here, carrot cake. So, well, 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 well. carrot cake. I'm crazy. We'll catch you in the next clip whenever I get stuff going. Stay around. All right, guys, and just like that, we're pretty much done with this wall. You'll see I left this open. I had to do a little mud right there. I wasn't happy with what I had seen right there, so I slapped a smidge a bit more mud on there and I got to sand that down. And uh, we'll get that painted later. So we got to trim it in, cut in. Got two coats of paint on. I like it. I like the color. And we still got this wall to do that I'm going to do in white. And then that strip up there, they you know that we got uh, above the doors that I got to do. And that's it for painting. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with the ceiling. For now, I'm going to leave it as is. I just brushed it off uh, with the broom and uh, got it somewhat decent. Uh, so for right now, I'm going to leave the ceiling as it is. I am going to get a new light. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to get, but I'm going to get a new light, something nice. 
And uh, man, we're almost done, guys. We get the floor put in, some outlets, we're ready to go. I have my own put my rack over here. I thought about putting it over there, but I think I'm gonna put the rack, my rack over here. Maybe, maybe. But we're getting close, guys. So uh, for right now, this is the last clip, and I'm sure I'll do something else. That wall right there, and uh, we'll get a clip of that later on. But right now, I'm gonna relax. I'm tired. It's almost 11:30 in the morning, and I've been up since 1:30. So I'm tired, I'm gonna relax for a little bit. And, uh, we'll get some more going later and uh, stay around for the following clips. All right? Stay for All right, guys, we are almost done with this wall here. I'm gonna put another coat on, I just did it. Uh, I'll tell you what happened. I got uh, paint from Walmart and uh, the color the color paint that I got from Walmart was great, but then the just plain white base that I got was garbage. I put two coats on here and it looked like a half of a coat of watered down Vaseline or something. I don't know. I shook it up and stirred it up good and all that, but it, it was horrible. So uh, that's a lot of money down the drain. So I went to Lowe's and I bought uh, a can of some Elspar or whatever the heck it's called. So this is one coat of that on top of the others. And uh, I still gotta put at least one more coat on this and trim it in. But I thought I'd go ahead and get to the end of this video uh, for today because it's getting late. So uh, I did go to Lowe's, of course, I got paint and I also got me a new light fixture, which is also a fan. So I got a fan to, that I gotta put up and uh, all that good stuff. So anyway, guys, we're moving right along. Now tomorrow's going to be kind of a lackluster day because I got the grandkids, which you'll probably hear in the background screaming at some point. But uh, tomorrow we're going to a pumpkin patch and corn maze and all that kind of stuff and doing some fun things. So, you know, I may not get very far in my project tomorrow, but tonight I'm going to keep busting my butt and uh, get this wall with another coat and that strip up there that you know that I got to do. Uh, so. Anyway, we're gonna keep moving on and keep moving forward and give what we can. So, hope you've enjoyed this little journey, guys. Uh, it's been a lot of work for me, but it's been a lot of fun. And it's, uh, it's kind of helped me to have a little bit of, uh, I don't know what the word is. I done forgot. I'm bad with words. But I feel good about myself, whatever word that is. Self-esteem, maybe, or confidence. There we go. Those couple of words there. I feel good about myself because I haven't done this kind of stuff in a long time. And uh, so it, it lets me see that, you know, I can do this uh, on my own, uh, even without, you know, my boss <laughs> of all those years, I can do this kind of stuff. And, and uh, it feels pretty good. So anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the body me now. That's me, along with my screaming granddaughters. All right. Get up, get up, get ready. Do it too. We'll see you next time on the body heat now. Ugh. 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 Get up, get out, get ready. Do 